Clippers with possession down two. Brown, a little out of control. Fires to the wing. Christie knocks down the three, and the Clippers take the lead. How about Kobe Brown making plays? Pull that one out and wait for your teammates. However, he'll tell you who does not have to wait is Kobe Brown because he can get the job done on his own or helping out with the teammates. Pippen scores and is fouled on the other end. Memphis back up and a chance at a three-point play for Pippen. 7.7 seconds left. Christie will inbound to Brown. Clippers down two. Four seconds. Brown trying to drive on Jackson. Leans in. And a foul with 1.7 seconds remaining that will send Brown to the line to try to tie the game. They get the big guy, Trey Jemison, for the foul is fifth. See Kobe Brown attacking. Once again, you know he's going to be the guy for the Clippers. Going to the rim. Yeah, it's on Jackson. They changed it to Jackson. You can clearly see there. Could have used the challenge. Of course, if... It was an unsuccessful challenge, then no timeout. Would not be able to advance it. Brown missed the second free throw. Jackson rebounds. And it, was there a foul or a jump ball? There's still time on the clock waiting for a signal from the official. Has to be touched by Brown and then by another Clipper player, but you can't gather. You have to bat it in. And obviously the clock was going to start as soon as it was touched by either player in the jump circle. That ends the game. Memphis moves on to the championship game behind a triple-double from Scottie Pippen Jr. Very competitive semifinal game to start our day. Great basketball and a 99-98 score and what was a really good defensive effort from both of these groups. And just a precursor to what we're going to see moving forward as these two summer league teams try to get a ring. We know the Memphis Grizzlies will be moving on behind, as you mentioned, a triple-double by Scottie Pippen Jr. But big-time shooting from Jalen Wells, stepping up 28 points for him in this one. Scottie's trying to leave. I don't know. You're trying to go to the championship game already. You have just the night. But when you're thinking about becoming the sixth player. <laughs> <laughs> that feels good, right? Knowing that you get the win, but also create some history for yourself as well with the triple double. What was going through your mind as you were able to impact this win? Just doing all I can to, to win. You know, uh, rebounds, assists, points, whatever it may be, find the hot hand. Um, just having fun doing it. And then seeing also Dalen Wells, 28 points. It feels like you guys were finding each other, but what would you say about his performance? You know, he's a great young player. You know, he listens to everything we tell him, and, you know, he's been able to soak everything up. And, you know, the couple weeks I've been with him, I can see how much he's improved, and it's a shot coming. It feels good to have him playing well for us. Earlier today, you told me that it was just going to take you guys getting back to how you play. How would you say finishing out this game? Jackson with the rebound. Describe what it was like to see those last couple of series. Uh, I think it was good that we ended it with a defensive stop. I think that was what uh, was successful this whole game, was being was being good on defensive end. So ending the game with a defensive stop was just going right. So we'll see you in the championship game tomorrow. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Excited about it. What are some things that we can look forward to in that game? Just us playing hard. You know, we've been working for this. Um, we thought we were going to be here anyway, so finally got to put the work in and get here, so we're excited for it. Thank you and congrats. Thank you, appreciate it. Again, just the fifth player to have a triple-double in Summer League, the sixth total triple-double, Lonzo Ball collecting two. And Memphis moves on to the title game to face either Miami or Golden State at 8 Eastern tomorrow night on ESPN. The Clippers had made 17 consecutive free throws before that miss by Kobe Brown, which would have tied the game. Memphis would have had a timeout with 1.7 seconds left, would have been able to advance it, still had a chance to win it. Grizzlies get great contributions from G.G. Jackson as well, despite six turnovers, he made some big shots.